Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. Today we have a small topic in prosthodontics that is combination syndrome. So combination syndrome is nothing but on keeping a complete denture. So we have a complete denture on upper arch and a distal extension case in lower arch. That is only the natural teeth and anterior teeth are remaining in lower arch so complete denture here a distal extension removal denture here so in such conditions the upper anterior ridge faces a problem because of the continuous pressure from the natural teeth in the lower anterior side so ultimately it will become a vicious cycle and a lot of changes happening over the oral cavity so this is known as combination syndrome so the combination of a complete denture and a partial denture okay so what happens in combination syndrome the first thing is loss of bone from the maxillary anterior edentulous ridge then there is down growth of maxillary tuberosity okay so resorption happens in the anterior region the down growth of maxillary tuberosity then papillary hyperplasia of the tissues of the heart palate then extrusion of the lower anterior teeth so this lower anterior teeth will be extruded and loss of bone beneath the removable partial denture basis okay so there will be loss of bone under the removable partial denture basis so we can uh, say that there are six changes happening one is the loss of vertical dimension then the occlusal plane discrepancy discrepancy on occlusal plane then we have anterior spatial resorption of the mandible then the development of epilis fissuratum which is a inflammatory change due to the chronic trauma of this denture borders on the oral tissues then poor adaptation of the processes poor adaptation of the processes then there will be a lot of periodontal changes happening over the oral cavity and also the spatial resorption of mandible anterior resorption of mandible similarly there will be resorption of maxilla also so it, it is like a vicious cycle so the cycle are changes happening natural teeth creating resorption of mandible uh, sorry maxilla maxillary tuberosity down growth then the resorption of all the denture base the residual ridges then the spatial absorption of mandible then the loss of vertical dimension occlusal plane discrepancy the epilis fissuratum the poor adaptation periodontal changes and ultimately it becomes uh, there is a loss of retention of all the dentures with associated a lot of problems in the oral cavity so that is a combination syndrome when we keep a complete denture and partial denture in upper and lower uh, lower arch with remaining natural teeth at the mandibular anterior region so it's a very small topic i hope you understood this uh, simple one so i'll come up with a new topic in uh, prosthodontics thank you